When a customer asks you for a quote to ship cargo, you need to create a quote quickly. This video shows you how to create a quotation in Magaya software and how to use the rates query feature to automate the process. When you quote any type of service such as air, ocean or ground from an origin to a destination, the rates query searches your preset rates and then builds a quotation with the details filled into the quotation document for you. Magaya has a standard quotation template and other templates to choose from. You can customize a template by adding your logo, multiple pages, and different fields. Let's start by looking at the rates you can save and use in the query. Standard client rates, also known as selling rates, are base rates for all your customers. Client rates apply only to certain customers. Add this type of rate in the list or in the customer's profile. Carrier rates, also known as buying rates, are your purchasing rates for freight services. You can create each rate per container and is saved in this list and the carrier's profile. To query your selling rates, open the query screen from any one of these three places. From the client rates folder, the standard client rates folder, or open it from the actions button in the quotation document screen. We have some rates set up already. Let's say my customer wants a quote to send cargo by ocean from Miami, Florida to Barranquilla, Colombia. From the standard client rates list, click Actions, Query Rates. This opens the Query Selling Rates screen. The Customer field is optional, but selecting it here will transfer their information to the quotation for you. The following fields are required to run a query. The Freight Service class, the origin and destination fields, and the method of transport. It's not required to select a commodity type, other types of charges, pieces, weight, or volume, but the more information you enter here, the more transfers over to the quotation document. Click Find, then the results appear in the list here. The system selects the best rate for you, but you can choose any you want. Double click a rate to view the details. When you're ready to create the quote, click the Create Quotation button. The Quotation dialog box opens with all the rate query information filled in automatically. This is the beauty of using the preset rates to create quotes. If you were creating a quote manually, this is the first screen you see and you would fill in the fields on the tabs. On the General tab, the quotation number automatically comes from the configuration menu. Today's date is filled in and the expiration is 30 days by default. If the customer has payment terms or Inco terms set in their profile, they will appear here. Type in a description of goods or select from your clauses. The routing tab shows the mode of transport selected by the query tool. If the cargo will be picked up at a different location, click the change button next to the pickup address field. You can also change the destination address. The Change buttons gives you the flexibility to arrange for pickup and drop off from one point to another point. On the Commodities tab, you'll see the container we selected in the query. If you were creating the quote manually for loose cargo, such as LCL, click the Add button. If you're quoting a container, such as FCL, click the Add Container button. The Charges tab displays the selling price for the container. Carrier costs don't show in the quotation document, but you can use them to determine profitability. The Ocean Freight Service Charge calculated from the query is applied by container. To see the details, double-click it. Change any field based on your needs. If you have automated other charges in your Magaya system, they'll also appear here. You can always add charges manually, such as income and expense charges for local transportation. Freight charges are calculated based on the origin and destination and commodity details such as type, weight, volume, and measurements. Non-freight charges do not depend on origin and destination but could factor by the commodity details. For example, a crating fee may be based on the size and weight of the commodity. If you need to change the measurement units for this quotation, click here. Next, if you want to add an event, you can. You have the option to attach a document, or add internal notes for your company to see, or other notes for the customer to see. 
The notes can include terms and conditions or add those to the document by customizing the template. Click OK to save it and create the document. Scroll down to see how it fills in. Click Zoom All to see the whole document in one glance. Zoom With takes you back to the original view. Email the document or a tracking link to it. Print the document here. You can also give your customer access to view it in LiveTrack. To remind yourself or another employee to follow up on the quote with the customer, create a task here. To wrap up this video, let's look at the quotation list. See the status, expiration date, and more. From the Actions button, choose Columns and select what you want to see. Filter the list by preset date ranges or by using the standard or advanced filter to view the information you want. Then save the view. When the customer accepts the quote, convert it into another transaction by clicking the Actions button and selecting the transaction you want to create. All the data is carried over, saving you time and data entry. Be sure to check out the knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully.